Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Brit Reacts, and today we're going to react to a gentleman named Jason Larson and his wrong number prank on Conan. Let's see what happens. I have a question. Your cell phone rings and you don't recognize the number. What do you do? Ignore it. Ignore it. Don't answer it. Not me. I like life. <laughs> the other day, my cell phone rang 917. That's a New York number. I didn't know it who it was. I picked it up anyway. I hit talk. I said, hello. Guy in the line goes, hey, Bruce, what's going on? Bruce. My name's Jay, not Bruce. <laughs> so I said, nothing much, man. What's going on with you? <laughs> um, all right, this is going to be funny. I have several friends who like troll the scammers that'll call you and tell you you have like a debt that they're trying to collect um recently i was on a job for my decor business and uh some of the vendors were there and one of them uh needed to call spectrum and they called spectrum like a number they found online and they called spectrum and it was almost immediately obvious that we had gotten like a false number online because the guy was asking it was just weird and the the vendor like played into it for a little bit. It was quite funny. He asked him a question. And the guy like was like, hold on one moment. And he never came back to the phone. <laughs> um, so this will be funny for me because I love stuff like this. So let's see. Shout out to 917 New Yorkers. Know what's up? <clears throat> so I said, nothing much, man. What's going on with you? I heard Bruce. And he said, I'll tell you what's going on. I just got an email about the budget. It's supposed to be 15,000. Now it's 10,000. And I'd like to know what's up. Oh, so this wasn't a scam. I this was a wrong call. Chest. I grabbed the steering wheel. I was like, okay, focus. Your name is Bruce. There's a budget. It was 15000 Now it's 10000 No one's happy about it. And That's action. That's all we know. That's all we know. <laughs> so I just repeated back to him what he said to me. And I go, 10000 It's supposed to be 15000 He goes, yeah, I know. Well, I just got an email, and now it's ten. I go, listen, man, I don't know what to tell you. I've been on the road all day. You know, I haven't even seen it. And he goes, did you send this out? Giving some attitude to Bruce. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's time to stand up I for said, Bruce. Listen, man, the budget was fifteen thousand. We had a couple extra expenditures. It went up to sixteen two. I reworked it, got it down to fourteen seven. I had three hundred to play with, so I called it fifteen and I sent it out. And he goes, "Yeah, well, now it's ten, man." And I was like, "Oh my God, that worked! That worked!" <laughs> Phase one complete. Phase one complete. Like, now I'm in the door. I have a 401k. I was at the Christmas party, okay? <laughs> so he goes, did You're going to give this man a heart attack. He's literally going to get this man fired because now he's going to call somebody else and go off on them. Oh, gosh. Are you okay this? I go, listen, man, I took the budget to Larry. Larry said it looked fine. Not but I Larry. knew it was my ass on the line, so I ran it by Jennifer. Just in case, just to double check. Jennifer said it looked good. I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well, now it's 10, man. And I realized this guy has no idea what's going on over there. No clue. He hasn't talked to Larry. Nope. I know he hasn't talked to Bruce. He doesn't even recognize my voice. <laughs> I know he didn't talk to Jennifer. I just made her up. <laughs> so he goes, listen, man, what are we going to do about this? And I go, listen, I'm on the road right now. I haven't even seen the email. Why don't you give Larry a call, check in with him, see what he says, call me back. Just <laughs> praying he will. Because that return phone call was going to be amazing. Please stop. And this, he goes, you know what? Why don't wait till There's you get no home, way. you check the email, you call Larry, you call me back. And I go, nah, nah, bro. Larry knows way more about this than I do. Give him a call, call me back. He goes, okay, hangs up the phone. There's to no which Larry. I explode with euphoria. <laughs> because there's a small business in New York that is crumbling yeah. to the ground. Yeah. Over five grand. You're ruining and nobody people's can lives. find Jennifer. <laughs> They're looking. They're looking. <laughs> I get home, I'm so excited, I take out my cell phone, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna save that guy's number, give him a call in a couple days, touch base, you know what I mean, check in. Is he from Boston, because he said number? I'm gonna save that guy's number. It's giving Matt Damon, it's giving uh, Affleck, right? Those two are from Boston, right? Okay. Back at you. See where we're at, you know? So I save it in my phone under random guy. That's what he is, he's a random guy. No, you're the Four random one. Days pass, I forget about it. <laughs> Laying on my couch, watching the ball game. Phone rings on the dining room table. I get up, watching the game. Grab no. the phone, watching the game. Look down. Random guy. No. But it's been a couple days, you know what I mean? So I'm like, random guy? Who's random guy? Like, who would even have random guy as their name that comes up? 
And then I was like, oh, yeah, random guy. <laughs> like now I'm panicked. You know what I mean? People's lives have been affected. It's only five grand, but I know how big that company is. <laughs> they're going to addicted to it. They're going to sue mean? you. I started this thing. I need to see it through. <laughs> so I put my earbuds in just to get a little distance, you know, just to get a little space. What? And the earbuds give you distance? Same guy goes, hey, Larry, what's going on? Yeah, now he's calling me Larry. He knows something's up, but I'm not about to back down. I go, nothing much, man. What's going on with you? And he goes, well, I got us on conference call with Janelle and Marie. And I was like, okay, here we go. Here we go. Why didn't he say no, bro? This is Bruce. Oh, no. This is bad. <laughs> this, this is bad. This is why we play the game, you guys. This is why we play the game. This is so bad. So I go... Welcome to the call, ladies, as if to say, welcome to the show. You know what I mean? Here we go. Marie takes the lead. She goes, hey, Larry, what time is it where you are? I live in L.A. They're in New York. It's 5.30. So I go, 8.30. It's 8.30. She goes, really, what's the weather like? And I was like, oh, weather's nice. Weather's nice. She goes, you know, this doesn't sound like Larry. And I go, oh, yeah? Who's it sound like? And a random guy chirps him from the back, and he goes, sounds like Bruce! Sounds like Bruce! <laughs> <laughs> like he's gonna blow this case wide open. <laughs> and I go, listen, guys, this isn't Larry and it isn't Bruce. And Marie goes, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm just some guy who had nothing better to do than to mess with you guys. And Marie got pissed. She was not happy. She goes, you understand we're trying to run a business over here? And I was like, yeah, well, I got that from the budget. I just figured it was a business thing. <laughs> She goes, what do you think? This is some kind of joke? And yeah. I was like, oh, a little bit. Yeah, it That's is. Pretty funny. That's pretty funny. And she goes, let me ask you something. And I go, no, you let me ask you something. And she goes, what? And I go, where are we at with the budget? <laughs> I'm Jay Austin. Thank you, guys. Friends, that is who and what we call a menace to society. I don't know how true that story was. A part of me hope that it was and a part of me hopes for the people involved on the other side that it wasn't because somebody got fired for sure somebody got fired um these type of people that like enjoy this type of thing are really fun to be around unless you are on the receiving end of the prank do you know what i mean like it's all fun and games until you are a part of the prank and do with that information what you will. I've never heard of Jay Larson. This popped up on my feed and I was like, hmm, sounds funny. Let's take a listen. Conan typically only has good things on his show as far as I'm concerned. So I'm glad I tuned in. Let me know your thoughts. If you know who Jay Larson is and you want me to react to something else, drop that down below in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed. Send this video to someone to make them laugh. Tell them you love them. And uh, go and have the day you deserve. Bye.